I really hope that my measurements were correct and that opening matches up with the opening on the top of the truck because if it doesn't, then this whole thing isn't gonna work. I'm gonna have to make some major adjustments. Yo, what's up? I'm Dulex, and I like to build living spaces in weird places. I've previously built vans, RVs, and travel trailers, but right now I'm working on this pop-top truck camper for my F-150. In today's episode, I'm finally mounting the rooftop tent on the truck. Let's go. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So here's my latest issue that I'm dealing with. I feel like every single time I install struts, there's a problem. So I'm back from my Colorado trip at Gutted, and as soon as I came back, I had to remove the struts that I had installed here because they are clearly way too strong because they broke the frame. Luckily, this isn't the actual frame. It just broke the, uh, the diamond plate off. So what I'm gonna have to do is bring that back to into position, weld it on, and then I'm gonna have to figure something out with these struts. I really like working with struts because of the ease of use and the wow factor of when you actually use it and lift it up like it looks super cool. But there's always a struggle with trying to find the exact weight that it's supposed to be. It's always a little bit different than you expect it to be. But I think these struts I have are actually gonna work. I just need to reinforce, now that I know where the stress point is, I'm gonna make it 10 times stronger and then I'm gonna try it again. While I install the solar panel and run the wires, I think it's a good time to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a website or online store and build a beautiful online presence to run your business. A lot of you didn't know this, but my website, dulexbuilds.com, is actually powered by Squarespace. My Squarespace site allows me to connect with my audience by sharing the build plans from a lot of the stuff that I build in my videos and also sharing my products product links for all of the products that I use that everyone always asks me about all the time. The feature that I like the most about Squarespace is how easy it is to use. I mean, you literally just drag and drop images and features wherever you want them to go. I mean, it literally took me less than an hour to set up my website initially. And then after that, I just update it every time I upload a video. So head over to squarespace.com slash to get your free trial. 
And when you're ready, you can use code DUALEX to get 10% off your first website domain purchase. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I gotta get back to the build. <laughs> So here's the current situation. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is the tent is basically done. The bad news is now I actually have to make the fabric for the tent. And I have no idea how to work with fabric or sew or anything like that. So I've actually drawn out my plan for this and I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. I'm gonna make three pieces, one for the front and one for both sides. These are the pieces, of course not drawn to scale. The side pieces are shaped in this triangular shape because I'm just gonna make one piece that's gonna be five feet from here to here and then go straight back and follow this contour angle and then I'm going to sew on a front piece that's gonna go from here to here. And the fabric is actually a completely different color for the front, just so I can make it look like I actually know what I'm doing. And then I have this bug mesh that I'm going to be using. I was gonna do a window on both sides, but I think that's gonna be too complicated for my first ever sewing project. So I'm probably just gonna do one big window in the front on this one big wall. So you can kind of just like lay on the inside of the tent and look off into the distance without getting bugs everywhere. I've got a sewing machine at home that I was actually given by Lisa Jacobs at the gutted event, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go learn how to sew now, I guess. That's my game plan. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm not gonna act like I know what's going on because I absolutely do not. But this is not the first time I've done something without knowing how to do it. So I'm here to try it out. Let's see how it comes out, man.
So good news, I finally got the fabric on there and it lifts up and down beautifully. I think I did this pretty well for never sewing before in my life. The zippers work pretty well. You can actually zip them from the bottom or from the top, but I designed it so that it's supposed to zip up from the bottom. And eventually I'm gonna have this so you can roll this up and have it hanging here, but I'm just throwing it over right now. And then you can see the screen here and on the inside, you can see that I really didn't want to mess up the angle of cutting the fabric. So I just put it in there first and then I put an angle bracket on to hold it in. And then once I get it onto the truck, I'm going to gum under there with scissors and cut off the excess. So I just made it too big on purpose so I couldn't mess it up. Now that all this is finally done, the only thing I have left to do is take off the temporary ceiling that's on the truck camper right now, put this tent on and secure it down. Then I'll come through with a bunch of little finishing touches like cutting up the fabric or running the wires for the electric. But outside of that, dude, we're, we're done. So let me try to get this up on the truck. Well, of course it's actually raining today, so this is gonna be a real test to make sure that I actually waterproofed everything properly. I cannot believe that I put it up there and it's on. I mean, look at that. Now it's not bolted down yet, but I definitely need to open this up just to see what it's gonna look like when it's bolted down. That's insane. Wow. Did I do that? Man, I was just sitting here for like 10 minutes just staring at it, just like wondering how, how I did that, that's insane. Whatever, okay, so I need to move on with this so I can finish the build and edit these videos so that you can see them. One last thing I'm gonna do before I bolt it down is add a marine grade rubber seal on the bottom of the tent uh, and then bolt it down so it'll squeeze it and there won't be any leaking and it'll also stop it from moving around.
pay to measure the height in here. It's so tall. Like my arm is all the way up and I can't even touch the ceiling. I can just barely reach this. I was actually going to make this taller. I thought it was going to be too short, but I was completely wrong. So for right now, I actually got the wrong size bolt at the store. So I had some extra C-clamps, so I'm using the C-clamps same way I did down here. I have no idea how I actually pulled this off, but obviously I have a ton of finishing touches to deal with. First things first, this wire is just hanging here and so is the solar wire. I need to run all the wires back around and then build a battery box down here. Then I also need to cut the excess off of this fabric. It's supposed to stop there, but it keeps going because I didn't want to mess it up. Then also when I was moving it in here, I damaged a piece of the fabric here. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to repair that. I'm probably just going to patch it from the inside. And then of course, the biggest thing I have to do is build the bed platform because obviously the bed's not going to be that short. I'm going to have a foldable bed platform that's going to come out to about here, but then we'll be able to fold it up and leave it up here. So you'll have all of this room to move around. Like I said, I'm going to bolt this in instead of using C clamps. But as of right now, it's usable, it's drivable, and there is so much headroom in here, it's insane. But then after that, it'll be completely 100% done, and then I have all the fun videos to do, which is the, uh, the tour video, and then the full build video as well. So next video is gonna be the last video in the series, so make sure you catch it. It's gonna be the complete finished product, so thank you guys for watching. See you soon, later. Never at ease, I don't know a limit I'm chasing a dream, I don't know what sleepers I got a queen, she lit me to eat it She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it You well overdue for that link up in person Text me to fall through his murder, she wrote it Still up with courage, you're doing a service Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the brush strokes Cut throat from the low low When no love goes, women buddy buddy like it's been dad Wanna fuck me looking at the bill stack Off the bubbly buddy, I've been stressed out